So we're gonna be making this ball in a cage. Now it consists of a ball that's too big to fit outside of the cage. And we're gonna make this all on a three axis mill. In order to get a perfect surface finish with very little mismatch between operations, every one of these variables has to be perfect and we have to be running coolant. Coolant is super important to getting a good surface finish in aluminum because of the chip flushing. If you're not flushing chips away from your cutter, then the chips are galling to the cutter and it's gonna affect the surface finish of your finished component. So making this part is super simple. We're only using two tools, a 3 8 ball end mill and then a chamfer mill to deburr the part. This part only uses one program, so we're gonna come in with the ball end mill, rough the stock away, and then do a spiral tool path to create the first surface of the sphere. Then, for every subsequent operation, we're just gonna flip our part and run the same program again. Finally, we're gonna be left with a sphere that's suspended in space by only one side of the remaining stock. For this operation, we're gonna run the same program again, but now we have 3D printed jaws that are gonna grip the sphere and the outside shape of the part at the same time. This will keep the sphere from falling out once the end mill breaks through. The one thing about these 3D printed jaws is that these could have easily been machined out of aluminum, but we made them out of onyx on our Mark Forge printer, and we tested these jaws in our Blazer 735 coolant. We let these jaws sit in Blazer for over a month, and they came out just fine. They're still dimensionally accurate. They haven't swollen. So that goes to show you how good Blazer 735 is at interacting with sensitive materials. While we're talking about Blazer 735, Jesse and I have recently noticed how big of a difference that coolant makes in the life of our tools and the finished surface of our parts. Here at Titans of CNC, we run a lot of the stuff that we do on camera without coolant, but we always come back in with coolant at the end to give us the surface finish that we're looking for. Make sure you guys catch our full video on YouTube where we'll go through every step of this process to show you how to make your own ball in a cage.